Okay, in this uh, week, we're going to do things a little differently in terms of the video. Um, so there might be more or less videos per day, and there might be one extra video this week as well, just to kind of wrap things up uh, in terms of the model construction. Uh, but essentially what we're going to do is I'm going to present to you um, a set of commands, a set of NetLogo tools that you might find useful for creating uh, the diffusion model that we talked about. And then I'm going to give you a goal to build that diffusion model, right? Um, and at the end of every video, I'll leave that goal on the screen. And then what I want you to do is pause the video and then write your version of that model. And then when you come back to the next video, I'll show you how I built that version of the model, right? Uh, and we don't have to do things exactly the same. And in fact, at the end of every uh, video, I'll have also an optional uh, goal command uh, for that week uh, to try and build um, and so or for that video to try and build um, So let's talk a little bit about this model now the the goal for this first video is going to be to create a number of agents um, and have that number be controlled by a slider uh, and then have them up, uh, adopt uh, the idea or the information randomly right um, and so how would you do that well Let's just, I just want to remind you, you actually know how to do all this already, but I want you to remind you about some of the tools you might use. So you, you can obviously add a slider uh, to control the number of agents, and you might call it num agents, you might call it m, which is what it's called in the original BAS model, or whatever you want along those lines, lines, right? And then you might want to go over to the code, and you know, I always almost unfailingly first write to set up and to go. And so I have those little stubs in there, right? And then at the beginning of every model, we almost always do a clear all, which destroys the previous run of the model and gets us ready to start up again. And at the end of every setup, we always do a reset ticks, uh, which lets NetLogo ready, know that we're ready to start the iteration part of the model, right? Um, so that's something that um, you probably want in your model. And then you're gonna want some sort of creation of uh, agents routine, right? Um, and this will probably be dependent on the slider uh, that you created in the first step, right? That controls the number of agents. Right? Um, and then we also want them to be able to have the ability to adopt, right? And so to do that, we have to tell NetLogo uh, that we want to add a new property, right? So add a property related to adoption. And then that probability property needs to be, um, adoption property needs to be initialized in the setup. Finally, once we've done all that, as I said, the other goal for this uh, unit, for this uh, subunit is going to be to have them adopt randomly. So now we need to ask the turtles to adopt or not adopt um, and you know, you might want to do a few other things, right, that we've done commonly throughout the models, like separate the turtles spatially around the world, right, and all those kind of things. So now after spending two weeks already building models, I want you to kind of try and do this on your own. Um, so I am going to uh, bring up, uh, I'm going to switch uh, videos real quickly and bring up the actual model rules, and then from there, uh, provide you with kind of some ideas as to the goal I want you to shoot for. Then I'll stop recording this video, and in the next video, we'll come back and show you how I would solve this. Uh, one small note before I do that, this thing I'm doing here, right, where I'm writing these comments that describe what the model should look like, I do this even when I'm not writing a, a code for you to use, right? And the reason why I do that is because those little comments help me think about what kinds of properties and code I need to write in the model, and then they can automatically become uh, code, uh, the comments for the code after I've written them. Um, and I'll show you how to do that when I come back. Okay, so let's uh, stop here. I'll flip over just uh, for a few minutes of silence on the, um, on the actual model code, um, and on the, it will probably, I'll probably talk over it, and then uh, also on the optional. Okay, as I mentioned, here's uh, model one, the goal for you to build for the first model. So create M agents, and you don't have to call it M, you can call it whatever you want. 
and have a slider that controls the number of agents, uh, and then have them adopt it each time step randomly. And as I said, I'm going to give you a couple optional goals in uh, each of the models, right? And in this one, um, maybe you have different thresholds or different methods by which each agent will adopt. And think a little bit about that before you implement it if you want. Um, that's not required, and in fact, we'll probably be changing it in the near future. But you know, just if you if this isn't enough, give yourself a little bit of an extra exercise. Okay. Uh, that's it for model one, and when we come back, uh, I'll show you how I built this.